Hi, this is Alisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create a 3D shaker car. So this is one of the car I make. It's a sling line size car. And uh, look, this is submarine uh, window look finish. And then after I create this car, I kind of uh, want to do a little change and I come out with at least a thin true 3D car. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step how you can create any kind of a shaker car, like a 3D shaker car. You don't even need a foam tape. So that's started. Okay, so every video that I have created, I always trying to share some awesome idea with my viewers. And uh, I would like to thank you um, for my viewers who is taking the time to leave me a feedback, give me a thumb up and let me know how I do. I really appreciate all your comments and feedback and sometimes I do receive a lot of great tips from you guys too. So this is all about sharing. If you have some, if you have some great idea you think is uh, good and uh, you're always welcome to send me a message and share with me. And uh, like I say, if you find ch this channel is awesome, you enjoy it and uh, please share your friend uh, with your friend. I hope your friend like it too. So that's a start today's video. To be able to make this uh, uh, 3D shaker car, it's, uh, it, it is very, very simple. So you can make any kind of geometry tra uh, uh, shape and uh, also if you have the stamp like this kind of stamp have uh, some kind of closure, you can make the shaker cards too. So make sure you check Local King online DVD library or Local King YouTube channel. I do have over 200 uh, videos uh, ready to view. Some of them I did use the same technique and uh, I think you might enjoy it. So today, um, you know, it's funny that every time when I do um, doing when I'm creating the uh, video, I always learn something new and uh, do some change uh, and uh, I think that's the best part of a stamping. Okay, to be able uh, to make those 3D shaker car, if you can find uh, foam tape, like a foam tape sheet, that will be great. But even if the foam tape sheet is like a two millimeter thickness, still it's not thick enough. Uh, Sometimes if you want to put this, some kind of rhinestone between because the height is not uh, high enough, so they probably stuck, they won't move. So it's a good idea if you have it, but, uh, if, and, uh, but they are kind of pricey, cost a lot, uh, cost, cost a little bit more um, than the paper. So I always uh, try to find an alternative to you know solve the problem, and then especially Actually now we're all stuck at home. Where can we find those uh, phone, phone sheets, right? So I uh, we're gonna create our own and I just have uh, some um, good quality car stock. The thicker the better, um, but it really depends on how thick your machine can cut. You don't want to kill your machine, right? So um, this is uh, probably like a 120 pound Cougar wide. And uh, I found out six layer a pretty good thickness plus a, a mirror paper for the front and uh, actually I will add uh, two more sheets to create the uh, window okay and then like I say while I'm um, why I'm creating my video I always learn something for myself <laughs> that's very unique okay so we are going to first of all we are going to just uh, glue my front page here and like I say, this is uh, like a like a teaching channel, right? And I always uh, try to show as much as in, uh, as many as information that I can provide. Sometimes if you find uh, this part, you probably already know you find it a little bit boring. Just fast forward it because uh, a, a lot of you guys let, leave me a feedback. You want to see like uh, all step. You don't want me um, like jump too fast. Okay, so I just uh, glue uh, my front pages here. And here is something very important. So because we are using the double die, right? And I want to make sure all my six die cut, they are identical. So what I do is I use this purple tape and just secure my die cut. So, and then I show you after you die cut it, when you remove your die cut, do not remove this purple
purple tape because I want the, this double dye, they stay exactly the same spot. Same thing as the other, uh, the other frame dye too. See, if, after I remove uh, the die cut pieces, my purple tape is still over there. And then you can use the painter's, painter's tape too. They work just fine. Just be careful um, if they are too sticky, try to remove a little bit from um, your clothes. Okay, and here is that $1 million tip. Remember, I taught myself, I learned that way. This, uh, um, the car size is only 5 by 5.5 by 5.5, so which is fine, you can put the vertical. What happens if you have a, like, a wider car and a wider die? What are you gonna do? All you have to do is put your die cut here and then fold in your paper. So that way, you can easily cut the, um, um, the paper down up to the six inches wide. Okay, here's something very important. You got to make sure you either folding your backing or you, when you cut it, you have to open your die cut. If you just uh, do like this when you run to machine, the, your foundation cut is going to have a hole too. Okay, and then after when we want to remove my stamp, uh, my die cut, and I was uh, removed very carefully, and then try to holding that piece uh, um, purple tape uh, purple tape because I don't want the tape move and then you are going to just uh, grab uh, the regular cougar white paper or any kind of cheap car stock and then cut the six five or six of the same die cut like this Okay, so I cut a few, uh, six pieces from my Cougar Y and I am actually going to use at least when I create this window, right? I'm going to use it too, plus uh, one mirror cardstock. And then I am going to just glue all of them together. And uh, it's a good idea to um, have a squeak, uh, little this squeak, squeaky bottles and uh, just uh, apply the glue here. And then you are going to just stack them together. And because uh, my die, two dies, was um, taped together, right? So when I die cut them, my circle is perfectly identical. So you're going to just glue all, uh, one, two, three, seven layer all together. So I'm going to just fast forward it. Okay. Before, I actually I forgot, before we glue this mirror, uh, mirror finish uh, on the last ring, we are actually going to seal the front. So this car, we have to seal the front and we have to seal the back too. And then, um, so I have my die cut here and now after you finish all cutting, you can remove your, your, your purple tape. And then I have explained this before, it's very, very important. We are going to cut a piece Piece of acetate, okay? And the acetate is the material. If you don't have acetate, you can just uh, find uh, some kind of package, like a like a, like the plastic uh, package. They can seal the front too. And uh, there is uh, one thing that's very very important when you put on your um, your cutting plate, you got to put a piece. Uh, regular scrap paper okay and then when you run to the machine as soon as you find out this scrap paper is die cut that means that piece of acetate is die cut it's very interesting you can give a try if you don't put at least a piece of um, scrap paper sometimes it looks like it die cut but you're going to have a problem to release that acetate from your um from your die cut and then make sure that we are using a large circle Okay, so that's what it looks like. That C is my scrap paper is cut. The scrap paper is cut. So that means my acetate is cut. You give it a try. If you don't use that piece of scrap paper, you will find out your acetate is going to, um, um, is it the, the cutting line is not going to be a, have a clean cut. You have to um, like do a few times. Okay, and then I am going to just glue my, uh, my acetate on the front and then I'm going to just glue all pieces together. So you're going to have your mirror paper, your acetate, and the, your seven layer of uh, this circle ring. 
So this is my submarine window, nice finish touch, right? So you can just put something heavy on top and just leave it for a few minutes, uh, let it completely dry. And after dry it, my circle is actually perfectly laid out, laid out. So if you find out your circle is not perfectly laid out, like the laying together, you just use a sand block, kind of, sanding around that ring and it's just a finished touch okay so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to uh, working on this one and then remember that purple tape is very important to hold the two pieces together okay so i have finished uh, the other window and i uh, just want to show you what's look like and this one i'm going to keep it for the next uh, tutorial let's move to our uh, next step Okay, so this one I actually create something look like a submarine. Ha a submarine window. Have you been on the submarine? I actually I had before. I remember um, it was the 1992. I was in Guam, and uh, I actually not like a real army submarine. It's those kind of tourist submarine. They actually go dive too. So that was awesome. And uh, I actually met a navy captain was uh, working on the submarine. That was uh, very interesting. That's what I love my job. We, I have met a lot of uh, different people uh, while I was traveling. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. And uh, also, like I say, um, because uh, when I doing the time of creating my tutorial and I learned like a different technique, like this one, I am going to do something a little bit different. So the first uh, card that you can see in the back is not the seeing true. So for my this card, actually, I'm going to do like a seeing through 3D um, circle. So how are we going to do that? We are going to color our background first, and then we are going to use this uh, Crow Reese background stamp. So this is a slim line size. If you want to make a slim line card, that's easy. You just cut it and then you put it on the back and then as a backing, right? But I like I say, slim card size, you don't have to make a slim card only. I am making this a five by five card. But my slim line card size is narrow and uh, it's not big enough. So what I'm gonna do is, we are going to just stamp two times and kind of rotate it. There you go. So this is the first one I was uh, showing my previous tutorial. I just uh, um, um, color one strip and I cut in the half, but it kind of not connect with each other, right? So this time I stamp two times. This is the two exactly identical. And then you can kind of play around. It's still see they not really connect to each other. So what are gonna do? How about we rotate it? Once when you rotate it, they look like a one piece. Okay, so they kind of connect each other. And so I like this direction better. And I am going to just uh, use uh, um, regular tape to tape them. And then now I have a double my sling car size uh, stamp image, image. So you can make as big as you want. I'm going to just tape it. So you're going to Tape it first, make sure what size you like the best before you color them. So that way, don't color them first and then connect. So that way the color is not going to connect with each other. So see how big it is. Now my, uh, my, my stamp image becomes seven inches by eight inches. That's uh, a big enough to do everything. Okay, so I'm going to trim in this one. I will be right back. Okay, so I have my five and a quarter by five and a quarter um, backing here. So I can just uh, um, lay out here. Like I say, my first card, what I did is uh, I just, uh, I already sealed it with my front, right? And I put this on rhinestone and then I just uh, seal like this and I glue back to here so that's not the seam to car and the here if you find the tape is ugly you can put the other pieces to color it but i like to try something different so this car i am actually going to put my background image on the foundation car and seal the window with a piece of acetate 
and then I am going to put the Sun Ryan store and the fishes inside. So just make it something different, right? Okay, so for the coloring, I have been um, explained too many times. And then please watch the tutorial 183, the paper review. In that tutorial, I have been explained too many different kinds of that uh, paper, which one is good for which one. So in today's video, I'm going to use at least the paper cut uh, Maco card stock and I am also going to use the uh, um, doll glossy to do the coloring technique okay so for the coloring I've been um, showing too many times if you like to fast forward it just go for it otherwise uh, this is a very interesting um, step to color the stuff so I just use a few of uh, uh, rubberneckers uh, color fuse impact they are small and they have a 48 color just easy and uh, my magic mushroom looks good so I kind of just uh, dabbing a little bit here and there and then I glue first so when I color they are going to end up to have a one piece the only thing with the dog um, the macro card stuff on paper cut is uh, um, you have to try to finish it at one time. If you want a darker color, you just heat hard and then release a little bit color. Once when you apply a very light color, no matter how much, how many, how heavy you try to dip in the other color, is not going to happen. They have some kind of coating. Once when that coating attach at the absorb sun ink, that's it. So they won't get darker. So you want to make sure the first uh, um, tapping, you want it dark enough, you heat hard. Okay, and then um, they actually can be blending together. So that's uh, why I really love our magic mushroom and uh, because uh, they do the things that the brush cannot reach us. Okay, so see how easy I do that and uh, I don't even bother to clean my magic mushroom and uh, they actually blending the color directly on top and see how pretty this color it is. And I'm going to do a little bit purple my favorite color and can you believe it this is a stamp and I stamping with a versa versa mark or you can do the versa mark you can do the stays on if you use a versa mark you got to make sure that they are completely dry before you do any um, coloring if you use the stays on got to make sure that stays on is dry before you apply the color because you don't want your magic mushroom pick up any stays on ink okay so that's what take a look at what it look like so I have my foundation color here that's a really really pretty background isn't it Okay, and then I'm going to seal this one first and then we are going to working on this circle. I'm going to put this some tropical fish inside. Okay, that's working on the coloring part. So this is a or mag, uh, or magic markers is the one um well or shadow stone is a kind of is one of our very local king very popular image because the shadow stain is different with uh, the detail stand. So you color directly on your rubber stand and I show you what's going to look like. So this is uh, the dull glossy is a little to be shining so it worked very well with uh, our markers and we are going to use this uh, undersea uh, words uh, stamp and the die cut and uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do but I'm going to show you remember the first time when you uh, have this shadow stamp you're going to use a cheap eraser to erase the surface the reason um, to erase the surface they will help this stamp work much better you can give it a try um, you only have to do this if you're using a rubber stamp if 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 it's a clear stamp, you don't really have to do that. So I have my, um, the paper, when you purchase this stamp, they will have the paper there, right? You kind of um, just follow out that color um, on that paper. Basically, you just make sure you color everywhere. Okay, so I am going to do the coloring. And if you find out this coloring part is boring, just fast forward it. 
those uh, local kings market they dry slow on the rubber so you don't have to work fast um the take your time you have enough time to finish your coloring if you have a misty or stem positioner you can use your stem positioner and they definitely help too okay so i am going to use this gray color and i am going to use a little bit blue color Remember, it looks nice not because the marker is really the stamp image that make different, and also or markers you can blending directly on the rubber stamp. So what you have to do is just make sure you color everywhere. So I have my wheel shock over there. I'm going to put a little bit brown around his mouth and the black eyes around here. So you can spend the time to do the blending, do whatever you like. So I have been showing you too many times how to color. Just remember the foundation color when you coloring. Let's do my jellyfish. I am going to do like a pink. Let's do a purple blue jell jellyfish. So you got to remember when you color your foundation color, this is something very, very important. You're going to keep your marker on the stem. You're going to make sure you color everywhere. Foundation color, you don't color with light because the, um, it's going to show. It's just like when we wear the makeup, we want to make sure we co cover our face as smooth as we can, right? So once when you finish your foundation color, you can go nuts. You can do whatever you like. So those are my little jellyfish. I just put a few different color. Like I say, you can come, you can time me. It's really take a, um, you can have enough time to finish coloring. Make sure on your stamp, you want to have a light color and the dark color. And uh, I am going to do this angel fish yellow. Okay, remember very, very important your foundation color. Make sure you no gap between. Okay, foundation color. Okay, in this fish, that's the longest thing. I don't, I, I have to, I have to, I know what's this fish, but I don't know how to pronounce this. It's too, too long. Carol, if you are watching this video, you know what's this fish called, right? They have very, very long. Carol is come from Hawaii. Okay, so in my crab, my crab is here. I'm going to do a little bit green and blue crab. Okay, take your time and then remember those markers. You can blend in um, directly on your rubber stand. Okay, and uh, I have uh, this uh, mountain menta ray. Um, I was in the Hawaii last year and uh, I was so regret that I didn't um, join this night tour that you can go see those uh, menta ray swimming and uh, next time. If next time I go, definitely sign out. That was a big island, and they say when the feet, when the boat close by, they turn on the light, and then they attract all those kind of menta rays. Okay, and my octopus, my octopus is going to be an orange color. See, I'm really taking my time, and then this part is not the other thing. So you can see that this marker is really, really. Um, dry slow on the rubber, it gives you enough time. So once in a while, I receive an email that some of you guys complain the marker say, hey, this, uh, this marker is dry. This marker can last at least four, five years. If you kind of don't know your marker is dry or not, grab a piece of paper. If you can draw a line, that means nothing wrong with this marker. Is there something wrong with your stamp? If you use a local King Robert stamp, stamp, just make sure you use the eraser to, to erase the surface. If you use other people's uh, stamp, sorry, it's not my fault. It's nothing to do with the marker. Because if you can see if the marker can roll, the things on the paper, that means the marker is juicy. If you don't use the shadow stamp, or if your stamp is made with plastic, they don't take the ink well. So on the stamp, you won't be able to see the color on the stamp. So just uh, um, 
beware of that one and uh, if you have any questions send me an email i always answer my email but uh, very seldom if your marker is dry and uh, please check the tutorial i show you how to re uh, refill with the water but don't do it unless it's necessary you don't have to refill your marker if your marker is only two three years old i have a customer have those marker over five years they are still like a brand new okay for my curl oh see now i just get one great idea if later on i want to create a tutorial with this white curl how i'm going to do that so i will working on another tutorial to show you see i'm still taking my time i don't worry about it dry okay just make sure you color everywhere the foundation did i miss any place okay like this and a little bit red and my seaweed and there is one starfish over there okay so my seaweed and then a little bit green so paper is very very important if you use a regular cardstock please use a stamp positioner you got to give it at least two layer of coloring if you use the paper cuts or marcos paper they are awesome quality car star you don't have to worry about it okay my angel fish i'm going to give a little bit orange here and i'm going to give a little bit blue see when i color i really don't care about where i put what color you just make sure you put all the color on top it's going to look awesome and then i'm going to dotting my angel fish eyes okay sometimes when we when i was at a show people always say where can see somewhere around there don't have to find every single eyes you don't get a reward if you call every every single eyes or design will do the job your job is just uh, make sure you color everywhere my crab have eyes too you need to see my starfish and like that fish I have to find the name okay give a little bit purple my manta ray and i think that's pretty good that's give a little bit lipstick for my wheel shop okay and that's give a little bit more blue color for my jellyfish my seashell i think that's uh pretty good here have a one seashell too okay so this is not editing you see how i color right as long as you make sure every inches uh, you you have a color on top you are safe see i'm still having a time to cut it up okay if you don't have local things markers that's okay you can use any kind of die based marker will work just fine but remember if you want to use the shadow stamp you got to use the die based marker you cannot use the alcohol marker alcohol marker they drive too fast before they dry uh, before you stamp they dry on your stamp and then this is uh marcos paper or paper cost the paper is a dull glossy they are double-sided so even nice uh, firm press see i didn't even have especially now covid six and well nobody used my stamp though but if you are going out share the stamp with your friend local kings stamp you don't and the local kings marker you don't need to have you just make sure you got to give a nice and firm press okay, that's what it is okay i have a little bit boo boo here but that's okay i'm not going to use that fish i'm going to hide it because i didn't press hard enough but you get the idea what's it look like right okay so this is what's look like after i die cut right and then remember here i didn't pay attention i didn't press hard enough it didn't get a nice image so on my scrap paper i still have a room so i just stamped that wheel shock and then i'm going to just die cut it well Mm, haven't decided yet am i going to use this well shark or not but uh, since i have a room i'm going to just go for it have it ready and then we will see there you go see i have my wheel shark here i just uh, you know what always try to fix your boo boo and uh, that's okay to make a boob right okay and then what we're gonna do is uh, that's trimming off all the small pieces and that's if i want to put some fish inside this shaking area 
and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have uh, all my pieces here and uh, that's the what would you like to do. So I decide I'm going to put my jellyfish and my angel fish inside of the shaker car. If you find out there's too many jellyfishes, uh, you can just uh, lose some. Okay, and then we have two angel fishes. Okay, so we're going to just uh, put here. And then in the back, you have a window, right? Because this one is a little bit different with the first car I make. So I am going to just kind of take a look. See, I fix my whale shark and my whale shark is going to stay that side. And my octopus is going to stay this side. And then just kind of take a look where I want. And then I'm going to just uh, um, use the glue. Okay to glue it so that way I have a too many layering so kind of just take a look I want that octopus in that corner and then my whale shark just make sure you put enough glue everywhere you don't want that fall fall off on um, your main car and then kind of take a look oh my whale shark is there because I still um I, I don't want to um, block my beautiful curl reef background so and then I still have my crab here anyway anything you like okay just use that and then I have at least um uh, rhinestone here get from the dollar store so I'm gonna put just a few because that's seven, this must be a special friend, oh, but I got it very cheap. Okay, kind of shake a little bit. Okay, if you don't want your angel fish or your, um, your jellyfish move, you can just put a little bit glue and then secure them. But I kind of want to make a shaker car, right? So I'm going to glue. Okay, the next, we are going to just... Uh, Put a little bit, you can kind of just put the double side. Oh, this is a, a thick one. I'm going to, you can use a glue or you can just use your double side. And then see, I'm just turning that circle. Okay, you put all your stuff you need first inside and then put the glue. Or you can just uh, use a double side tape, they will do just fine. Okay, and then we are going to, oops, there's something here. Okay. We are going to just uh, put uh, your car here. Voila! See? Isn't that awesome? And then my fish is swimming. Oh, my jellyfish is upside down. I remember, hmm, that was uh, two years ago. I went to Tokyo and they were one aquarium. And then they have uh, like 50 different kind of jellyfish. They are so cute. Some of them is so pretty. It look like a, it look like a, it look like artificial. Okay, and then where is my, I cut, don't forget that we have this beautiful um, border die cut. So I have one piece of white one. Okay, so this is my final project. Do you like the one with a seeing through 3D shaker car? Or you like this one is not the seeing through, is uh, like this. So slim line size car or five by five um, square car. So that's today's tutorial. I hope you like it. And that definitely is some kind of new stamping technique, like how to make your background a little bit bigger and how to create a 3D shaker car. And if you like, remember I was doing a review uh, for all the stamps that I was using to create those beautiful cards. So I'm going to working on the um, tutorial to share with you soon. And they are all done by the same stem set and the same 
background stand. Okay, so that's today's car. Hope you like it. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. See you next time. Goodbye.